Commercial radio is big business with fat profits. If you get the formula right. In the heart of Manchester with today's best music. Now a new station is about to take the gamble and join the crowded airwaves in the northwest. It's a war out there. There are 22 other stations directly competing with us for listeners because the more listeners you have, the more money you make. MD John Myers is spending a small fortune on fancy studios, publicity and presenters. And in the war ahead, he's got a secret weapon. Hi, this is Derek Hatton, Century 105. We will be on the air when? But Derek Hatton, Hi, presenter Derek of the lunchtime phone-in, has never done anything quite like this before. Weekday, one o'clock, for the Degsy debate. I'm looking forward to it. I know you are. We'll have a real time to be on the air. <laughs> Hi. Derek has to deliver. If, if the listeners don't like him, then he knows himself he, he'll have to go. Can John Myers launch his station successfully and transform Derek, the infamous politician, into Degsy, the radio star? On air on the eighth No, 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 man. In posh new offices on Salford Quays, Manchester, testing of equipment and people is about to begin. The first of the new team are assembled. Today is the uh, very important day. We've got a transmitter on the top of Winter Hill, which they're working on now. And at some time over the next hour or so, uh, they're going to switch it on. And we've got radio switched to it now, which they just hiss coming out of, but hopefully it'll burst into life and it'll never be switched off unless we upset the radio authority. <laughs> <laughs> They're about to play their very first record to test the station. Wait, we're on the air! We're on the air! Yeah. Century, owned by Border Television, is taking on tough competition in the Northwest. There are 23 other commercial stations in the area and a very strong BBC presence. This is fantastic news, isn't it? You're listening to test transmissions for the all-new Century 105. Century is the brainchild of John Myers, and he's promised the radio authority his output will have twice as much speech as most commercial stations. But will speech bring in the listeners? It's a fun radio station for adults. I mean, some stations uh, have really fallen by the wayside because they say we do intelligent speech we would never say that we do intelligent speech we do entertaining speech now you realize before we start john right that i've only just learned how to go from a pencil to a pen right, right? so it's that level of right. ignorance we're starting with right well, okay okay we're going right, right back to basics right back to basics this is your mission control really this is your part of concord what john's I'm invested in state-of-the-art equipment because he's not just the managing director he's also a dj and will present the breakfast show on this you have your mic but teaching derek to press the right buttons and talk at the same time could be john's biggest challenge they've gone down in their level and that's that one. And that's that one there. So, all right, so you just drop the fader. Mm. So when you Derek's a character, and that's what this station's about. The trick is to say something like 15, 20 years ago, everybody in this country knew him for his politics. He's had a little bit of a slump. But this is his real chance now to hit the big time again. And uh, how many people can have a new career at 51 years of age? But some, OK, I mean, that's, do you ne never use that then? Occasionally, I yeah, do, yeah. yeah, but, yeah. yeah. The fact that he's nervous gives me confidence because... If he goes on air nervous, he'll be successful. If he goes on air cocky, he'll die on his backside. 
you just want it to start immediately. You don't want to now wait the, the few weeks before we actually launch. You want to start, you want to actually get the calls. You want to, I want to open the lines now. I want to be in, I want a position where, yeah, okay, let's, let's start. Let people phone in, let's start talking to them. Hi, this is Derek Hatton. Join me from the 8th of September on Century 105 for the Degsy debate. Right, you need to very, uh, don't shout as much. So back off a bit, okay? Don't write it down. Don't shout, just be a bit more relaxed. Hi, this is Derek Hatton. Okay. Join me, nice and slow. Okay. Hi, this is Derek Hatton. Join me for the Degsy debate starting the 8th of September, one o'clock every weekday. I'm looking forward to it, and you certainly will be. Right. If you, if you went into a pub, you wouldn't say, Hi, I'm, De I'm Derek Hatton, Century 105. You wouldn't say that. So just say, Hi, this is Derek Hatton. I'm on Century 105. Right. Just a conversational. All right. Hi, this is Derek Hatton. Tune in on the 8th of September, Century 105, the Degsy debate. We'll have some fun. I'll be there. I'll be on the air. We will be there. What a lot of crap that was. All right. Hi, this is Derek Hatton. I'll be here on Century 105, 8 o'clock. No. <laughs> You'll know if you're doing my head into you, are, do you know? Hi, this is Derek Hatton, Century... No, don't shout, man. Don't shout. Derek never right. did get good I enough to do his own trails. Don't miss my show every weekday, one o'clock. Just in case things don't work out well with Derek, John's going after a guaranteed route of getting audiences. Football. All right. So, did you get me comments? The hardest part when you're launching a new station is to get people to physically switch to your dial. If we can get exclusive football commentary, then we win because I'm physically forcing football supporters of that club to move that dial to find their commentary on the favourite team. Solskjaer takes it. Oh, he scored! Armed with a three million pound launch fund, John's wheeling and dealing to try to win exclusive match commentary rights away from all the other local radio stations. It's a game of poker and he could end up paying too much. I've offered a six-figure sum, a fantastic amount of money, um, which has forced the other stations to give them more money, so at the very least we've cost them money. But, you know, to get Manchester United would be a dream. John's spending sprees gathering pace and his war chest is emptying fast. All I said is you can't be Christian and be gay. You can. You can't. Of you course can. you can't. It's down in black and white in the Bible. Thou shalt not lie with a man. You yeah, can't do He's been poaching people from radio stations up and down the country. His most expensive acquisition is shock jock Scotty McClue. Loving your neighbour means delivering a cup of sugar on demand or helping them if they lock themselves out. It doesn't mean giving it the old best shot, does it? Yeah, but you never might be a fella. Look, are you gay? No. Right. No. Well, get off then and stop being such an idiot. I think he's the most talented late night phone in presenter without question in Britain. He really is. And he generates what I call the penis on the page effect with the audience. But he's dangerous. But dangerous presenters get your listeners. He's good for business. Yes, well, um, I feel that some gay people are getting um, persecuted. And I, I think it's wrong. Why? How can it be wrong to persecute somebody who's deviant? He says things which might not be politically correct. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that. How can being gay possibly be normal? Just because some of the listeners may disagree with him doesn't make it wrong that he doesn't have the right to go on air and say it. And he, he does it in an entertaining way. I don't accept you because you're thick. It all comes down to audience figures. To get those audiences, John's spending a million pounds advertising his station. I'm, I'm John, I'm not being thick, but where, how do I know there? But he's not confident enough in Derek to have him photograph for the publicity campaign. For now, it'll just be John and Scotty on the posters. So you're outrageous and outspoken, are you, Scotty? I'm slightly, yes. Uh, only slightly. Only the best advertising agency will do for John. He's gone to the one that came up with, have a break, have a Kit Kat. And it's 105 FM, that's important, yeah? And this is the one I've picked, which is Century Radio, 105 FM. Funny, you bet your FM life, right? 
because we applied it to a couple of ads specifically for for Scotty. I'm on FM and I'm not PC. Outrageous and outspoken. Scott and McClue every evening from 10 p.m. Century of controversial, you bet your FM life. And the idea, the flexibility of this line, and I know that's that's the kind of thing you like, is, is that you can precede the line, you bet your FM life, with anything, you know, controversial, outrageous, popular, funny, witty, outspoken. Okay, and I, 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 mm. and I think that's got some legs. I just think that you bet your FM life is is rude. I don't see it as being rude. I see it as being kind of cheeky, as being impudent, really, and a bit tongue. It's very tongue in cheek. Yeah. I uh, I can't live with you bet you bet your FM life. I mean, I I just think that uh, uh, FM says says the F word. Surely you can come up with a with a line that says what you wanted to say, but uh, it's something I can live with. There's no way that a bus company or a TV company or a poster company would allow their ideas to go up on poster sites. So, um, you know, we're having to tone those down, such as um, Derek Hatton, um, mass debate at one o'clock. Well, I, as much as we think that's a, a humorous line, I cannot see a bus company allowing mass debate with Derek Hatton at one o'clock going on the back of their buses. So I think that uh, it's rude. Well done, with money pouring out, John's sales team are frantically selling airtime to advertisers ready for the moment the station goes on the air. I have to get the listeners, count them, and then sell them. The more numbers we deliver, the more money we make. It's as simple as that. Hi, mate. It's Dana Century. But official audience figures won't be out for six months. For now, they'll have to convince potential advertisers they'll reach their target audience. Um, obviously, the surge in listeners from day one. Obviously, we've spoken about the campaign. So, uh, but it is a bargain. The total cost for the three weeks of activity is just over £15,000 plus fat. I, I can't believe that you know, a three-week campaign on a new radio station will deliver the uh, volumes of sales that I would need. Right. I'll give you ten grand for the campaign. Ten grand? Yeah. <coughs> you know, ten grand, there's no way we can go down to that sort of figure. But if you were looking at making a decision now, then I'm sure we could, you know, potentially meet halfway. Yeah, basically the people who are buying airtime on our station are buying it out of trust. But if we don't deliver those figures, when the figures come in, our credibility is shot. John's renting a flat around the corner from the station. His family are still living in the northeast until they sell their house and find somewhere locally. You do miss the wife and kids and telling them everything that's gone on today. That's what you miss, is that you, you'll never guess what's happened today. Um, sales had a really good day today. So, looks like we're going to hit target for September. And uh, did some training with Derek Atten today. It was entertaining, eh? Okay. This is the biggest license the Radio Authority has ever given. And... If this radio station doesn't work, I'll struggle to get a job in Iceland. <laughs>